Enriched kinematics uses a single bone to calculate the location and rotation of other bones in your armature. So for example, I'm able to animate these two bones by just moving this one bone here. And uh, this uh, technique has many applications. You can use it for legs, arms, uh, an entire torso if you'd like, and a tail too. So let me show you how that's done. Um, you don't need a model for this, but you are animating, so you kind of, actually, you kind of do. So here we go. Just extruding down our bones, and for the final bone that does the control, you just need to add a single bone. It can't be extruded, otherwise it won't work. And let's name this control, and go into pose mode. Now to apply inverse kinematics, you're going to need to apply it to the, the very last bone in your little string here, little chain. I don't know why it's not applied to this, but that's just how it is. So let's go to bone constraints, add inverse kinematics, select your armature, and then select your control bone, which is this one right here. And it works. That's all you need. So, control P. And look at that. Uh, one important thing you guys might need is that if you're doing arms or any sort of joint, you need to have a rotation constraint. Otherwise you'll have trouble animating, getting the bones to position the way you want them to. So let me show you how, what that does. Let's add um, some values in here. And look, now you're not going to have trouble with it snapping this way if you just want it to snap this way. So now you can have a guy running or a horse galloping. So there you go, that's the uh, tutorial.